All right, guys, welcome back to Mr. Shot's Kitchen Table Review. We're not at the kitchen table today. We're in my basement. But just want to go over this with you guys. I got the Young Hang air compressor. I'm sure everybody's seen it. It was in the air guns. But I had my disc blow the other day. As I'm sure you'll see in the video, we were working on that. And what we found was, in putting it back together, a little trick for you guys, is put a little drop of oil on your disc. And what that's going to do is, because that oil is so sticky and tacky, it's going to hold it together while you're putting it back into your compressor. And once you have it in all the way, that's going to, it'll seat and hold together. But a drop of oil is going to go a long way. Um, and I recommend picking up some extra discs. I know it came with four of them. But I found them very inexpensive. I just ordered 50 of them on eBay, free shipping, $8. You can't beat it. You could get all the, the parts for these on eBay. Very, very inexpensive. So, guys, check it out. Uh, you know, the Young Hank compressor, well worth the money. Again, put a little drop of oil on when your disc blows. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. It's not a faulty machine, but they do break, and they're very inexpensive. Very, very simple, simple fix. A uh, few minutes, you'll be back up and running, enjoying your air gun once again. Until next time, God bless, stay healthy, shoot straight, and have a good day. Alright guys, it comes right out of here and it goes right back in there where it came out of. We'll tighten that in. Alright, here's that. The disc. I don't even see the disc. It must have just disintegrated the disc. I don't think I maybe I didn't have it seated right. Put in our bleed valve. We're gonna tighten that. Make sure that is. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna fill up the gun. Some important things you want to make sure whenever you use your compressor. Check your temperature gauge. Right now we're at 20 degrees Celsius. We're nice and cool. You don't want the compressor to get hot. Make sure you got good water flow. It's water cooled. Make sure you got good water flow. Make sure your pump is running. Check your gauges. Make sure your air pressure is in it, where it needs to be you know we're low right now and once you've checked everything and you know everything is good make sure everything's tightened up so you don't have no leaks and then fire up your compressor watching your gauge this has an automatic shut off but i like to keep in control of it that can make a mistake i can make them too Now another thing guys, when you're, don't ever just go pulling this out, you gotta bleed your lines. You go pulling that sucker out, man, you could really hurt yourself. You could knock an eye out. You could cause some serious damage. And we don't want to lose eyes, fingers, or toes. So we're gonna just bleed off everything. Once we've bled all the air out of the lines, it's safe to pull it out. Pull it out. I like to put my probe right away. I know some people, they'll leave them hooked up. I don't. These are very important. Today we're going to do some 
I don't know, maybe some bear hunting. What do you think? Wait till you see the bears I have in mind.